Welcome to AutoCAD tutorials. In this tutorial, we will continue AutoCAD rendering and we will learn about some effects in rendering. So we will go to this visualize tab and we can find some options such as light, shadow, sun, etc. If I click on this arrow on this light, we can find point light, spotlight, distance light, web light. Similarly, in case of shadow, we can find no shadow, ground shadow, full shadows. So to use this effects in rendering, let us open up a drawing file. I will go to this open, open this file lightning and open. We have already created this file, assigned the material to this object and we will add some effects in this object. So let me rotate this to a better view. This will be a good view. And we will add the lightning to this. So I will select the effect that is point light. Point light is like a bulb which emits the radiations in all the directions. And I select this point then I will select turn off the default lightning and we have to select a source location for this. So let me select the source location. We have to select any point. So let me select this midpoint as the reference point. Just press enter. We can see the lightning effect inside this. There is a higher intensity of light while on the outside there is a shadow. So this is the effect of lightning. Now we can change the properties of this lightning. We have to select this bulb, then right click and go to properties. In this properties, we can find some options such as the name of the bulb. We can assign a name, then type of the bulb. It is a point type. We can also change this type spotlight web, but we will continue with point then on off status. Currently it is on. We can set it off, off and on. We, I want it on. Then the important thing is this intensity factor. With the intensity factor, we can control the intensity of this light. We can see this light is very bright. We can reduce or increase this intensity by changing this factor. If I select this factor by 2 and press enter, it will in increase this intensity. And if I reduce the value, it will decrease. So let me take this value 0.5 and press enter. It is good. After that, it asks for filter color. Currently, this color of the light is white. We can change this color. I click on this arrow. Here we can find some color red and we can see the effect when I select the color so, such as I select the red color and we can see the effect yellow green cyan blue etc we can select a color from the index let me select this white color by default then we have plot glyph we can make it on and off according to our requirements and then the glyph display and we have some technical terms in this intensity of this light is lamp intensity lamp color and the resulting color etc. And as we know in the geometry we can find the coordinates XYZ coordinates and I cancel this. This way we add the lightning effect. We can change the settings of the sun and shadows in this lightning effect. Currently it is selecting no shadow. I can select ground shadow and we can see the change. If I pick turn it off and ground shadow. So there are currently no major effect in this because the shadow will be on the other side of the object. So we have to turn on this sun. I select the sun, then sunlight requires I will select adjust exposure settings. And now sun is on. We can change the settings of the sun environment. We can turn it on, turn it off and cancel. And now I rotate this model and we can see 
there is a shadow of this object because the source of light or the sun is on some leftward direction it is putting light on this object and there is a shadow this way we add the lightning effects 